So we got a little bit of time, you know, since JMU was on long break, since they just played. So this would have, well, I would say this would be the matchup of the day. But in my humble opinion, we have so many bangers. It would be very disrespectful to the other teams just to say this is the match of the day because we have some great matches. So right now we got the head-to-head -head between these two teams. Um, both teams, two games apiece against one another. Um, it can go either way. It can go either way. Last time these two teams played against each other, Cincy did win, I believe, 3-2 to two up at Kent. So it's going to be a good matchup for both teams, and it um, should be fun. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Yep, you're back, Logan. You're back. I was just going ahead and just doing a little bit of promo reads, but um, no, my bad, my bad, man. No, 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 you good, you, you good. Your thing back there in the actual studio, man. No, man, no worries. But yeah, we're about to get we're about to get set up momentarily. We do have the scoreboard. Okay, cool. If you need me to move out of your way for whatever reason, I can definitely step down while I'll be in your way. Yeah, I mean, I I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna be in your way a little bit. Well, I mean, if you're standing there, yes, but I'll give no, you. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna be standing. I can stand up though on the ground. Ground. I'll give you a chair. It's fine. What? I don't know if there's necessarily enough room. I'll just stand. I'll just stand. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. No, you got it. I'm about to stand. Yeah, we all we all doing it. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it, y'all. Oh yeah. We're on a commentating heavy. My yeah. guy, man. We got JMU's full fans, full section. Everybody's hey, out here, man. Up. Let's do it. It's already gonna go. I got the just like that, man. Oh, and the time didn't start. The time didn't start. The time didn't start. There it is. Yeah, here we go. All right, man. Here we go. JMU versus Cincinnati. It's going to be a big matchup here. Oh, yeah. Shadi, what are you predicting, man? Final score predictions here. Uh, first of all, I think we might go to OT. Okay, that's but a good prediction here. That's a good prediction. Okay. Put starter. Second of all, um, score. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling like, uh, I don't know, man. JMU, once they get hot, they get momentum. And then once they start rolling with momentum, it starts to get scary. It can go either way. That's why I, no, for sure, I'm not really interested. Well, I oh, that's not going to count. In my opinion, man, I don't know. I just feel like Cincinnati just they got a lot more chemistry than uh, than JMU does. All right, so let's see what Sterling about to do. I oh, think he got Patrick, Sterling but then done. Sterling goes out without like a chance. That done. Oh no! So Patrick saved Sterling is out. So actually, JMU actually won that exchange right there. All right, let's see what Trent Shape about to do. Reset throw, right. not too bad. Got a reset throw. Hi. Oh. Right between Trent Shaper and uh, 26, who is yeah, pretty much just Jeremy Cheeseball. Yeah, pretty much just cutting through the needle right there, but no dice right there for Hyatt. And Cheeseball tried to go for the well, feet of Hyatt, but wasn't Engelman. successful. Engelman to load up. They are not intimidated. No, they are not. Oh, two balls thrown there. Unsuccessful this, on the both of them. Yeah. This is a game that both teams have definitely circled on their calendar. They've been waiting for this matchup. This you click this when the uh, time is like when you need to cut it off, huh? Jesus. Look at you, man. Jesus, Will Hyde just absolutely destroyed I number eighteen that. in JMU like it was nothing. That was I crazy. missed it, man. Hyatt's got a lethal throw. He's one of their uh, oh, Rosinski's countering fast. Yeah, he's moving at a much faster pace now. I feel like he has a sense of urgency. The team throw might be coming on the right you hand see, this side. This is the problem. Ooh, easy wow, catch with look at that. 16. Easy he's, catch for Nick Floss. He just absorbed it, man. Just sucked it right in. Yeah, he's no problem. Yeah, he's JMU's best catcher. I talked to, uh, you know, I talked to one of his teammates earlier a little bit before this game, and he said that he's just kind of their waste thrower and just kind of an absorber, and that's why they use him at the middle right there. Woo! And that got him. Good kill wow. right there, but Ryan, Ryan Engelman taking out number 24, Trent Shaper on that exchange. Dang. A little back and forth from two heavyweights right now. Uh oh. There we go. You see this? Easy. Oh my goodness. We missed that. But easy catch. And once wow. again, 
with the follow-up, Will Hyatt. Pretty much a one-two punch right there. That's not an easy one-two wow, punch. Wow, and right they're there. talking that smack. Will, talk that smack, man. Oh, they're going to be talking to oh That's cool. Oh, they they didn't give me the fist bump, man, but it's all right, though. It's they're right. going to be talking crazy, though. JMU fans might not like me, man, but it's all right. No, nah, they don't. <laughs> they already told me, man. It is what it is. Oh, quick counter by. Oh, I'm not sure who threw that, but that was a good, good counter there. A little over 20 minutes to play here. Oh, the release by number 23 on JMU. Number, his name is Elias Villarreal. I believe that he's the president this year, actually, of their club, right? That's right, El Presidente. Okay, okay. All right, so JMU has two balls. Oh, wow. Floss could not snag that one. And Loss, he's one of their best, probably one of the top five catchers in the league. Oh, but nope, nope, nope. He's safe, he's safe. He's safe? Yeah, he is. All right, so Jamie, you got three balls, so they have to throw, but they have 15 seconds to make the throw. So they're going to take their time. This is the biggest problem with JMU here, man. That got him. That's an out, but nice. JMU always struggles to have ball control. That's the biggest weakness of the team. It could be one of their weaknesses. But that will also give them a good opportunity to kind of, you know, get back to the catching routine um, and looking for timely catching and stopping the balls when they hit the ball ball. I don't think JMU's been looking too good today on catching. Number 27, just like that, he goes out. Dang, that's tough for Ryan right there. As Ryan Engelman get the purple ball, put it back for his teammates. Man, okay. Last year, when I played JMU on OU, their whole fan base was just absolutely clowning me. Just like that. Ooh, team two catch. Two balls laid on number four, and he's out of there. Well, unfortunately, because two balls yeah, was on him. him. Even though Patrick was able to snag one of them, the other one did hit the ground. Right. Therefore, he's still out. Ooh. Oh, what a catch by number 71. <laughs> and he silences the crowd. And Richard is a full-blown savage. He looked right at the camera after making that catch. Wow. And told everyone to shh. <laughs> he told people to be quiet, this man. This man is a savage. I love it. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. I'm pretty sure 71 is also the player who – um. We had like the top sticky catch of the month. Just like that. Oh. Wow. And just like that, JMU is now on the 10 count. Eli could not snag onto it. Two players left. 99 and number 12, Joe. Angleman, man. He's loading heat. Loading heat. Man, since he's talking mad crazy right now, I can't blame him. Oh. Good throw there made by Joel. Number 12, JMU. He's got fire in his hand. Here comes Ski. Oh, he, oh. he could not snag it. And he walked off the court saying, this is what I do. I'm a grown man. Oh you are God. little. That's what he said. I didn't say that. He said And that. the crowd is getting kind of nervous, man. They are. All ducking their heads like bullets are flying. Well, I mean, it's okay. I like environment, man. What do you expect? Yeah, no, nah, that, that is very true, though. This ain't a safe place Here to play. Here we go, man. man. This is not a safe place. The only to play person out. on the court here is Joel, number twelve. That's he a got kill. him. Looking for the catch. Drop the ball. Crowd trying to get into it. See, both these teams, man, they play off of momentum, and you know this is the problem. Cincinnati's looking hot right now, and they don't seem to be slowing down at all. Joe's still safe. Oh! Oh! And he, oh, oh my he's God. done just like that. Oh. Shape of the little <laughs> thing. Schaefer says to sit down and be little. Schaefer said, you too little. Schaefer said, you too little. Oh, my God. <laughs> Schaefer. Oh, man. man. Schaefer, he belittled him. That's crazy. He, put, he used the LeBron Ooh move, man. Wee. Man, he really did call him little on that one, man. That That's was crazy. crazy. That was crazy. Hey, but like I said, Schaefer... As I mentioned beforehand, he is currently serving in the Army. So best believe he's not intimidated by anybody on this court. Oh, man, that was crazy. See, this is one of the reasons why I love the Beast Tournament because it's a place where if you want to be able to express yourself, you can. You don't have to worry about someone getting offended. Yellow yeah, car, yeah, no, for sure. Taunting. It's all love at the end of the day, like, man. You can be your authentic self. Absolutely. And everyone 
in the audience, in the stands, know, okay, we're just playing dodgeball. Right. In other regions, that would be a yellow card immediately. No, nah, for sure. Although they're not able to get, you know, a little bit too. Uh, and I love. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. Great job right there by Skeet, saving his teammate, um, Sterling, on that exchange. But he was dead to right, so now. Yo, did you uh, add, add a, the wrong point? No. Are they guests? No. No. Okay. Yeah. But that's. Oh! Like, great you know job right there by Floss, protecting his teammate, number one, Patrick Shaw. Again, he was dead All to right. right. In there, man. You see, Jamie's crowd will get loaded up. Ooh. Oh, and that's a team catch. That's a team catch. Good attempt made by the rookie, man. Man, Joe's, swallowed in. man Joe's like, what do I have to do? To get these bop, to get these bear cats out, man. My goodness, my man is trying everything right now. That's the problem. Look at that. Oh, Just like that, he's crossed. That oh, was close. Oh, did that hit him? Did that, that hit, hit him? him? Oh. The fans does not like that. The fans are not happy by that call, booing. man. Oh, booing. don't throw the floss, man. He's gonna absorb it. They're booing this, man. And that just, was a great cross made by Wyatt Hyatt, man. And just like that, Ryan Engelman just became public enemy number one in Harrisburg, Virginia. Oh, oh. that's an out. That's an out. Great Tried kill. to go for the quick counter. Great kill right there by number five, Household. Oh. Ooh. You see? Just like that, this is my perfect example. We have the camera here based on JMU. Is that correct? That's correct. And just look at their ball control right now, man. I just want to take a quick look at Cincinnati versus JMU's ball control, and it just this is why they lose typically. This is why I try to talk to some of their. This is an eight to two. Well, now it's now it's six to four. Did someone step? Yeah, yeah he twenty-three. Stepped over the line. Yeah, Paul's not having it. The fans was about to get crazy. Yeah, right? man, he's out of there. He was standing on the line as we were all watching him. Man, we saw him in ten eighty. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. He was really trying to argue, like, no, nah, I didn't step. He's like, dude, like, we caught you in 4K. Right, 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 for sure. Here we uh, go, Schaefer. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Engelman, Engelman, oh. Oh, a little nice little spin move right there. Kind of stopped himself. All right, so James is about to have three balls, and the clock will start 15 seconds. Seven balls for Cincy, three balls for JMU, and they're still pushing up. Oh. And they'll get the ball back. So JMU would not have a shot clock. Ready for Cincy to do a team throw. And they do, but it hits nobody. But they will get the balls back. I think team throw is going to come in the middle once again. Oh, Eli oh. could not snag it. Missed opportunity by number 23 there. Yeah, hate to see it. Now, He's been playing in the league for three years. I didn't even know that, man. Oh, yeah. I think he's the only one and only person on their team. He's the president of the uh, uh, club. The president of the club. He had big shoes to fill after uh, Ryan Eschenberg. He left last year. Two-time MVP for the team. He's now looking like their head coach. Yeah, Evan Eschenberg is, is, uh, is a head coach right now for JMU. All right, so we're about to hit the 15-minute mark. All right. Ooh. I'm pretty sure Cincinnati's got a coach as well. His name is West, but he doesn't seem to be here today. West Hopefully Peter he's... is coaching on uh, North Kentucky at um, University of Miami, Ohio. Okay. That's oh, once again, catch. my man with the okay, easy one. money catch, and he's, he's clapping it up saying, do it again. Is just, do it again. He's more than excited to be in the game now. I thought I could catch. Oh. oh. It was blocked. Oh. Oh, wait, yes, Ryan will get it. Great catch right there by Ryan. Bring back Joe back in the game. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. They're chirping him. They're chirping him. Keep chirping There it goes. <laughs> oh. Fans are going stupid crazy right now. Oh. Fans are going stupid crazy right Fans now. Fans are going absurd, man. They're going nuts. Yeah, they are. All right, so I'm pretty sure that guy was Connor. I think it was. Yeah, I think it's Connor. I think Connor was making those catches. Yeah, so I know Connor was wearing 71, but Connor, man, has been 
he, he, he's on Jam. You're a Cincinnati you're talking no, about. I'm talking about Cincinnati, number 71. I think that's Connor. Okay, that's the one who uh, silenced the crowd after the catch. Is that yes, right? that's the one in the same. So, fun fact, Ryan Engelman started off being a catcher, now starting making plays. Same thing's happening for Connor, number 71. Just making plays just solely off of catching. For sure, for sure. Hopefully he can he continue to keep it up, man. Catching changes the, the whole rhythm of this whole entire game, in my opinion. You Absolutely. make one catch, Ooh. and it changes the whole momentum of Schaefer the game. Schaefer wanted that throw, and he could not catch Will Hine on that exchange. You hate to see it. And he is not happy at all. No, he Very is not. frustrated. 26 cheese, bro. Looking for the Yo! Oh, my it's God. like that. Snipe the referee, man. Yo, come on, man. What are we doing, man? Yikes. Yo, but White, man, he's a champ, man. He took it all the way. He's going to shake it off and get back to repping this game. Oh, good Great catch. catch right there. Look, Catching out. Looks like it was an attempt there made by the rookie of JMU. I'm not sure uh, that might have snipped his hands, but obviously the referees didn't see that. That brings back the head. Uh, oh, Hyatt. So that brings back um, Eli Bovello with that catch. Ryan with the catching out right there. All right, awesome. From JMU. So we're now at the 12 21 mark. Well, now 12 15 mark. Missed the wall ball made by Cincinnati. Yeah, fans definitely hyped for this game. For sure. Oh, the fans pop out for JMU, man. Oh, yeah. They got a solid stand base. Oh, oh, that got him. Wait, I thought it did. Oh! oh he dropped it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Missed whoa. opportunity made by Wyatt Hyatt. Yo! He is not happy, and the fans are going to be chirping in his face. <laughs> Here they go. Let's, Walk of shame. Here it yeah. comes. Now, now it's getting exciting. Man, Walk man. of shame made by Wyatt Hyatt. <laughs> Past the jam, you crowd. It's you, never you, fun to do you, that, man. You know the next time, you know, y'all play against ODC, he's coming after you now. Oh, that's all right, man. I'm just, hey, he might come after me, but I respect Ooh, him. Oh, my god. Money goodness. catch. Big money catch right there. Cheeseboro with the catch. Much needed. I told you, just like that, one catch can change the whole momentum of the game, and they got a fan base here that is lifting them up. Fans are going to come. Oh, Foss. Oh, man, that's a split. He right. might have just. Nah, he's good. He's good. He's I was like told, fun fact, that. Nick Foss was a goalie for most of his uh, early childhood, man. Which is why he's probably such a good catcher. That makes a lot of sense. Uh-oh, ball's over. Ball's over by JMU, man. Uh-oh. Bad, bad look for JMU by, on a ball's over. That can't happen with these two top teams, man. Nah, not at all. Sean, you stopped the clock? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay, okay, we good, we good, we good. All right, we good. Did it say on the YouTube uh, streaming, did it say that Cincinnati's got one or Jamie's got one? I'm not sure. Since he got one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know that they have one, but I'm saying as far as on the scoreboard. Right. Yeah, it's everything's correct. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. All right, here it comes. Here we go. Ball's over made by JMU. It looks like. Here we go, Hankelman and Ski. Ooh. Tag team him off two balls, and they got him. Yeah, Joe's going down to that change. All right, so Jamie only got one ball, so they don't have a shot clock. Here comes Cincinnati. Team throw coming up. Got him. Just like that. Cheeseboro. Ski and Engelman. Cheeseboro, number 26. Jamie goes down to that change. Engelman gave him, the, uh, gave, him the, gave him the old ear, man. All right, so now Jamie got three balls now, so a shot clock. Will now be counted. Oh, wait, was that a timeout? Oh, okay, that was a timeout. Okay. Timeout, man. I think right. we need to hit the horn. Hit the horn for a little bit one time. Hey. Timeout, timeout, timeout. All right, cool. So four make sure you got to hit. You got to use the buzzer when there's a timeout, man. Got to make sure you get the crowd's attention every once in a while. A little something, something, you know, keep the crowd honest. All right, so 10 14 left. Timeout will call by JMU. They have one more timeout. Within this half. Why exactly did Jamie you call the timeout here? Um, balls. To get ball control? Okay. Yeah. Well, not necessarily ball control, but get a couple of them. Correct. Cincinnati ready. Jamie ready. Dodgeball. All right, here it comes. It's like that. The clock is started. What are you doing, Sean? There we go. 
Start that clock. Looks like it's JMU's throw here. Let's see what type of throw they make. It's probably, I'm going to guarantee it's a reset. All right, let's see what Skeet's going to do. Skeet loading up. Oh. Also a reset. Reset throw there. Oh, oh that good was close. cross attempt by Angle in there. It was. All right, Connor will get that ball successfully. Angle yep. man, he's chirping back at the crowd. Not sure what he's saying over there, but he's not liking what the crowd's saying to him, man. I promise you, respectfully, he does not care about this crowd. It's like oh. that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Easy money. Easy catch. And he said, do right it again. There. He said, do it again. Do it again. I'm going to take you right back to the bench. That's pretty much what he said. Wow. He said, do and it again. now he makes the walk of shame. Oh, oh and a cross no. by Ryan Engelman, man. Wow. And he go right back to the JMU crowd. Wow. Saying, and they shook his to, hand, man. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Sure he went right back to the people who were chirping at him. And he said, what do you got to say now? Flipping the script on him. He sure did, man. Uh, but kind of went down that change. It's like plus. they're bowing down to him now, man. This nah, is crazy. Nah, man. Listen, JMU fans, they're very intelligent. If you're out here putting in that good work, they will respect you. Here we go, Engelman. You. Here we go. They, oh, good reset throw there by Engelman. They will respect you if you put in that good work. But if you don't put in that good work, they're going to heckle the crap out of you every single time. Oh. Oh, he made it. Yes. No, that's a catch. Patrick with That's the grown man catch. Ryan one. Engelman goes down. There's a ball right here. We need to get that ball. Yeah, yeah. Ball, ball, ball. Ball, ball right there. Ball right there. Ball right there, Dan. Yeah, thank you. And Engelman's pointing at the scoreboard. He's going to take the walk of shame again. Yeah, he is. Man. Great catch right there by Patrick. Wow. Long. The JMU crowd is just absolutely trolling Ryan Engelman. Yeah, they are. As they should. Attempt to reset throw by number one on JMU. Seems to be Patrick Schwab. Crowd trying their best to help JMU get okay, back in this game. Okay, a couple pump throw, pump, pump fakes it. All right, here comes Ski. Ski. Oh, oh and it's he's a out. drop ball. It's a drop ball. So number he's four. Out. Yeah, so Firebird goes down that it changed via drop ball. All right, so exactly four players left for JMU. Five players left for Cincy. Cincy is at a full 15. While JMU is on the 10 count. Slight ball advantage, I believe, goes to JMU. But, well, then they get it right back to Cincy. All right, reset, oh, reset throw by throw. both teams. And on Spear. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, all right, that one was bad. That was bad. Had, had a good look there. Oh, trying to catch the rookie off guard there. Patrick Schwab. He's trying. Good reset throw right there by Skeet. All right, House Hodel with the reset throw. All right, somehow. Skeet with a reset. Yeah, both teams resetting. Good point right there. All right, seems like they're going to try to do a team throw or not. Didn't feel Skeet. safe about reset. it. Reset. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, that's a kill. You see, me personally, nope, my nope. play style is that I, I'll just push up as soon as somebody throws off the rip. Good idea. Good idea, Swap. Good idea. Oh, oh here we go. Crap, that's not see, what they need. Like, I would have ran down 99 there. Yeah. And you're wide open like that and have no ball. Oh, they're trying to pick him up by the team throws. They're Not trying. Working. Oh, here we go. Schwab. He's by himself, though. Good pump fake in there. He's by himself. Just, he only got two. They, Jamie only got two balls, so no clock for them. All right, good job right there by Householder. Just moving his feet out the way. We're under six minutes. Still, first half. Been a long point, but this has been a fun point thus far. Oh. Reset throw by both teams, no dice. A little over five minutes here to play, only 1 0. Yeah. This is a good looking point here. Yeah, it is. 5 4, Cincinnati. 5 4. Yeah, man. And oh. Just like that, make that 5 3. Man. Brzezinski. Ooh. Oh, and almost caught the rookie off almost. guard. Ball's over, I believe. And oh, no, it's a timeout. Timeout. All right, so now that's. Hit the horn, hit the horn. All right, so now that's a timeout call by Cincy. Time out. You like that, Jim? You crowd. All right, 
Let's see. We got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, USB ports here. You got to charge a lot of phones, man. Yep. My guy. So you be traveling all over all over the nation here, uh, Shitty, to to do commentary, or you just kind of only pop out to the JMU games? I used to do a lot of traveling. But now a few it's years ago. But you know, being a little bit older now. Right, right, right. You know, and also, and also doing other stuff. You know, don't really travel as much like I used to. Been, I've been doing a lot of stuff in DC currently. Um, oh, you DC. Know, oh yeah, yeah. I, I currently work um, at several different universities. Been doing some ESPN production. So, what is that right? Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty much why you haven't really been seeing me traveling as much. No, that makes sense though. ESPN, man, that's 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 the place to go to, man. It hey, seems like you're hey. nice Seems like you're pretty interested in the sports commentator, man. This is good stuff. It's nice and fun. Just got to know the right things to say, man. I try. I try. Uh, you do a great job, Sheedy. We love you here. I appreciate you, man. Anywho, back on the game. Seemed like a team throw come on the left-hand side. Or not. Just a reset. Still, Jamie, you only got two balls. Hey, start the clock, though. Holy smokes. We got to start the clock. What Yikes. are you doing? Sorry about that, Jamie crowd. I apologize. We apologize, man. So the moment that ball comes in, 10 seconds shot clock will start. Here we go. Number one, Patrick Schwab. Looking to throw. Oh. Oh. That have been close. Ski made the cross, but it looked like it was blocked by number 99. Is that it, right? It was. Sean Kelly. All right, so Jamie only got two balls, but they have no clock. That was close. I felt like that was a kill. Ski felt like it was a kill. Ref saying he's safe. Engelman over there on the sideline trying to coach. Schwab, load up. Good reset throw made by Schwab. That's a Jamie's oh, crowd. He, oh. Okay. Oh. Number 16 pretty much told Schwab, go ahead and pick that ball up. Let me see Let me see something real quick. That's pretty much what he said. That's crazy. <laughs> Team throw. Oh, and a catch made by number 99. Much needed, but Schwab also goes Sean down. Sean Kelly. Time. All right. It's all right. They called a timeout. Another timeout call. Appreciating okay. timeout. All right. Just like that, JMU has no more timeouts. A very important timeout made by JMU, man. 1-0 Cincinnati. We're going to go into commercial break. All right. So the time is, I want to say, 2 minutes and 58 seconds, at least on my end. On your end, 2 minutes and 50 seconds? Yeah, but hold up. We didn't necessarily start the clock on time either. So. Yeah, we didn't. You want us to run the clock out a little bit? Just a little bit. All right, man. Just I'm a little bit. here. What if they get angry at me here, though, Shitty? Nah, that's, that's on me. That's not on you. All right, man. We got to run a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, we good. All right, we good, man. I'm sorry, man. Here we go. Nah, you good. No worries. It's like that. I got it in my hand, Sean. Sean's uh, Sean's timer uh skills here aren't, aren't the best. Nah, he's a fan right now. He's he's enjoying it just like all of us. Yeah, for sure. I'm in it to win it, man. His commentating is great. All right, so four players left for Cincy. Three players left for JMU. Reset throw, but well, really by JMU. Number one. They just kind of had to get rid of balls in that point because, like I said, they're still in a six. 10 second shot clock. All right, here comes. Oh. All right, good throw right there by Householder. Looks like there's a little under three minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah. Tough to reset throw. Seems like Jamie's got ball control. That's not a good throw. He might be tight. Oh, that's ball's, ball's over. over. Wow. Stop the clock. Ben stopped it. All right, good. Got it. I'm on it. Yeah, that's huh? ball's over. So, what do you mean? Got you. Ball's over. My bad. That's on me, man. Bad timing on the ball's yeah. over. What's uh, what's your clock looking over there on your end now? We should be good now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It says 318. I know you said it was like three something. Nah, we, we're good now. We're, we're back in business. Okay. Here it comes. All right, clock's back going. Here we go. Bad, bad 
Just like oh, that, he's out of there. Man, Number 99. Two players, two players left. 99, JMU. Sean Kelly, he's out. No ski. They retained one ball. Number five retained one ball. Seems to be Jared Householder. Yeah, no ski. Uh oh. No Ryan Engelman. Oh, oh no! Why would you tip? Oh man, that's oh. why he got. That's up. That was that was bad. No ski. No no high. No Engelman. But Cincinnati's getting the job done. One play left to beat Householder. What the? All right, so since he called a timeout. Since he called a timeout. Since he called a timeout. All right. Two minutes and 39 seconds. That's right. what I got on my on my uh, scoreboard here. Okay. All right, so now both teams have no more timeouts for this half. What, how, uh, how many timeouts do you get per half? Two. Two timeouts per half, and both teams have used them both. Okay. Yep. Using them to their advantage. Got to. Kind of got to use it in these crucial moments, though, here, man. You don't got Rosinski or Engelman on the court. You also don't have Hyatt either. Hyatt, Schaefer, Mosley, they're all off the court right now. Very key players to their team. You got number five, looks like Jared Householder. One and only person on JMU's team who's on the court right now. And the clock is going to start here. Cincinnati 4v1 here. Blocked them all. All right, he's safe. Uh-oh. Here Still we go. Uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so they only got two balls. Since he does not have to throw an assist away. If I'm householder, I will throw a ball as a reset. If I'm householder, I'm just staying alive. Crap, his arm is, his hand is cramping. He got nothing left in the tank. He's at his limit. Tough situation for my man. All right, he made it work. Since he had to throw. Yo, oh, that's a catch there it is. number five, Householder. There Bring it, it back in, Trent Schaefer, number 24 of JMU. That's right. One there we your, go. It's now a 3v2. One of your captains. Oh, oh missed opportunity. Oh, drop catch. Oh, my goodness. We might be able to get the point here now. Back to, <laughs> wow. back to a 1v3. That's crazy. Wow. That was crazy. What a change of events. And about to be a balls, balls over, over real quick. Oh, man. Crowd was into it and then just lost momentum just that fast. Holy smoke. Ooh-wee. Wow. Man, householder, man. His arm is cramping. He is fighting through so much pain right now. He is trying to make things work. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> God. Just like that, man. That Just point, like that, that makes it 2-0. Fans are going crazy. Household is just beside himself, man. My God. Should I just run off the rest of the clock here? No, we don't do that. We don't run off the rest of the clock? No, so... You got to add 59.4 seconds to 25 minutes. Is that right? Correct. All right. He's just going to add one minute. My guy Sean here says. That's fine. 26 minutes on the clock. 26 minutes on the dot. Oh. They got me mic'd up, man. There it is. 26 minutes on the clock. Scores now two to two to zero in favor of Sensi. Favor of Sensi. That was a very crucial point there. Very crucial point. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. So now since we got ourselves a little bit of time before we get started with the second half, we're going to go ahead and use this time to talk about the players to watch for this particular game. All and right, this, man. This is actually a good one right here. So. And he's just trying to talk about the, the very important players on the uh, on each team. Yeah, so awesome. first player that we got coming up, Matt Rosinski himself, graduate student at Cincy. 
uh, they would quote every champion was contender that refused to give up. Hometown is Columbus, Ohio, which is where Nationals will be taking place this year at the Ohio State University right. Right. Um, in April. He is currently, he was ranked number 10th preseason All-American um, earlier this season. Um, he was on the second team All-American last year. He was also All-Regional team last year. And his personal favorite, East Kids on JMU for breakfast. What is that? His personal favorite is what? Well, I mean, like, that's how he feels toward JMU. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, safe to say there's no love loss between him and the crowd. And then the second player to watch on JMU, none other than the man himself, Trent Schaefer, also a captain for his respective team. He's a senior. His favorite quote, light work, no reaction. Hometown, Greencastle, Pennsylvania, ranked number 11. Uh, preseason All-American, uh, preseason regional overtime six player. Um, he was all East Coast regional team last year, and he loves to stir up the pot. Stir up the pot. Who is this? Trent Schaefer. Oh, yeah, that's very true. Is he graduating this year? I believe so. He's been around for a little while now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been around for a little Huge bit. attribute to their team for sure. Oh, yeah. Although he made that that final throw there in the end against Cincinnati on a yeah. almost clutch comeback, yeah, he he didn't like that. He wished he could have had that ball back. Alrighty, now we got done with all our promo reads. I mentioned both players in the match, as well as the match graphic earlier. We're now back. Exactly 26 minutes in the second half. Alrighty. As, as we're just awaiting for both teams to get settled in. Um, first point, pretty, pretty decisively going towards Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Um, second point was a very long point. Felt like it went more to probably 14 minutes. Um, they pretty much bled it all the way down to the very end. Right. A little back and forth action by both teams. A little teams. bit of change of events there in the end. Yeah, crowd definitely got very excited, very passionate. Tried to chew the deuce on, but since it was a very clutch catching, was able to pull it out, and now they have a 2-0 lead. Sure. Like I said, last time these two teams play up in Kent State, Roughly about two weeks ago, um, since he, I believe, defeated them three to two. Wow. So, oh, Terrence, check it, my man. What are we doing, man? What's up, Shadeen? Not too much, man. You need a roster? Um, yeah, I got one. I, I don't need a roster. Great game we have so far. I thought JMU was going to take that point when they got turned back in. I thought so too, man, but catches, man, it changes the momentum of the game. Absolutely. I might have to stand. Hmm? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Huh? All right, look like Jamie about to push up. All right, block right there by Eli. He wishes he had that ball back. Yes, block. he does. Since he wants another throw there, I don't think they're going to get it, though. I don't think so. All right, Schaefer with the reset throw. All right, both teams now just trading reset throws now. This is number 99 wearing Nick Spears' jersey on JMU. I don't know if I've ever seen a JMU player block for his teammates as much as he is. Right. <laughs> Very unselfish. Which I guess, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but good for him. No, that's a good thing, man. You, you need unselfish players, oh, you know, on your team. More. You know, just willing to do the dirty work. 
another reset throw right there by Cincy. Surprised they counted, but it seemed like Floss had his hands up in the air, so they probably won't allow it. All right, so let's see Sterling with the throw. Reset. Floss has really turned into a complete player this year. His arm is definitely making up, or catching up to his catching. Ap agree. Agree. I, I concur. And Evan Esselberg is beside himself. I feel like he's about to break that um, that clipboard at any minute now. I would love to see that. Woo, strong throw right there by Will High. He was definitely looking for a headshot. JMU crowd, surprisingly, just very quiet right now. Not really much to cheer about. Uh, I think that's going to need another. Oh, Will High goes down. Nice throw by Trent. Yeah, that was solid. Nice low throw, taking out number seven, Will Hyde. Two potential All-Americans going at it. Absolutely. Speaking of All-Americans. Two throws there by Cincy, didn't need those. Speaking of All-Americans, he was ranked number one preseason All-American. Oh, oh big catch. is that another catch for Connor? Yep. Oh my God, this man is a machine. Yeah, I definitely haven't lived up to that. I don't want to make excuses, but my arm hasn't really been where I want it to be all year. Hey. But, hey, the team is coming around, though, and that's what matters. Hey, um, I saw you putting in that good work last game. Thank you. So, you're building your case up, my friend. Let's see what Ski's about to get himself into. Reset good wall ball. ball, perfect. Yep. It's a good block by Tyler. He's one of the more underrated blockers in this league. He's really hard to get out in the middle of the court for Cincy. He is. And he's a good crosser. Oh, that clipped him. I think that was ground first, not going to lie. All right, fair. I respect that. All right, so Jamie only got two balls, so they don't have a shot clock. Ski just missed that cross. Yeah, just barely. All right, James, you now got four balls. Five if they can get it. Now they will. Good reset. Ski with another reset throw. Ooh. Joel tried to counter. No dice. Yeah, this dude Joel has a cannon. I barely remember him from last year, to be honest, but he is one of their best players, if not on some days their best. So I was talking uh, to one of his teammates and he said, I believe that Joe is probably our best player. I think, yeah. Definitely. Oh, did he clip somebody? <laughs> and Connor's waving the hand, no, no. Joel he, certainly thought so. He thought so. He's just waving the finger saying, absolutely not. But like I said, I, I love the atmosphere. I love the energy thus oh, far. Oh, dude, Beast is the best tournament of the year. With, There's no debate. Without question, my friend. Without question. But like I said, yeah, we're we're so happy to be here. Nah, it's always a fun weekend. No, nah, I'm happy y'all was able to make the trip. Much appreciated. Same, yeah. We had a bunch of Ohio teams drop out in the last, or in, but yeah, just like the week leading up, two weeks leading up to the tournament. So, dang, that's unfortunate, man. Yeah, it sucks. A lot of teams getting ready for ODC, right? Which I understand, but we felt like we needed to play more. And I've been happy with how we played so far today. Still got a big game against Penn State after this, though. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That's going to be a fun game to watch. Yeah, a little overtime rematch from uh, Pink Out this year. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Woo! Nice jump. He tied that jump perfectly. Woo! A little back and forth there. Eli does a great job of controlling the pace in the middle of the court for JMU. He, he definitely he probably doesn't fill up the stat sheet, but he's definitely one of their most important players. There's a oh, he, oh. I saw it, Eli. I saw it. I knew exactly what he was going after. Oh man, that was a good opportunity to get out Ryan there, but just missed it. Oh got him! What a throw. Finally. Joe finally got it. And that's the loudest I've seen the crowd all day today. Yo. Joel I might be misspelling it, Froyan. Uh, T 
toe tag ski on the transition. That's a big play for Jamie. Very big transition kill right there by, by Joe. We got a timeout by UC. All right, timeout call by UC. All right, cool. I can't tell how far ski is buried right now, but I'm pretty sure they're going to need at least two or three catches to get him back in. Metal one, without question. <laughs> All right, so since he had one timeout left, JMU has two. Okay, cool. Yeah, biggest thing right now for JMU, obviously getting back into this point, very important, but also finding ways to close against top tiers opponent. Yeah. I want to say, Last four games, Ohio State, Michigan State, Cincy, and even here at Beast. Oh, against ag us. Against y'all. Yeah. No, yeah. They've, One. It's four, four games in a row against, like, probably top ball's up, ball's up. seven, eight teams. Yep. And it's been a close loss for them in every single one. Every which single time. It's unfortunate, but hey. there's a lot that you can take from that. And there's still a lot to feel good about that. Right. Just to know that you're competing against the best teams. Absolutely. But, yeah, each team they play against four straight losses by one point. Yeah, that stinks. It's a horrible feeling. Oh, innocent bystander, a.k.a. the ref, just got clapped. Um, yeah. It's kind of looking like with how slow this is going that JMU is definitely going to have to win this point if they want to stay in this game. Absolutely. UC goes up 3-0 with it'll probably be like 15 or even less minutes left. Right. I don't know if JMU is going to be able to score three points just with the pace that this has been going at so far. Yeah, it's been a slow pace Which for is sure. Which definitely slower than I think JMU likes to play normally. They just really haven't had ball control. Right. It's tough for JMU because they only got three balls. They like to push the tempo. They like yeah. to be aggressive. But since he... It's hard to do that when you don't have balls. Exactly. And when since he is perfectly content, just doing reset throws. I mean, yeah, with the 2-0 lead. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, if I'm JMU, you really got to either start hitting your throws, getting kills, or you got to uh, push up the court and do wall ball. Right. It's the only way to get... Ooh! Takes out number Ooh, one. Him. Oh, that's a big kill for them. Big Engelman. kill right there by Eli Rivera. Much need big Ooh, catch. Huge big catch, catch right there by Schaefer. Now he's getting his emotions back in order. That's what they needed. And the jam you faithful of. They, need, they needed Trent in the right mindset they if they were going to come back in this game. They need that. And uh, that looked like just what he needed. I really do believe that when Schaefer, Trent Schaefer, is in the right mindset and I has his emotions in check, Top, easily a top 10 player in the top league. Top 10 player in the league, and it also brings another dynamic to JMU. Absolutely. The emotions that they, are needed. They feed off him. They do. Yeah, that was a big catch. Big catch right there. Team throw? Nope, no team throw. Never mind. All right, so now we're under 17.30 left in the second half. You want it back? Oh! Wow, holy wow. shit. You can't do that, man. That, <laughs> yeah, that's one of those catches where you just got to kind of tip your cap. Yeah. 33 read that all the way. Yeah, I will say, um, since he's down three of probably their top, seven or eight guys, uh, Isaiah Montgomery, who else am I thinking of, Ian Bartholomew, uh, and then oh, one more. Oh, he couldn't get oh. that No, oh. he could not get that one. He could not get that one. I thought he might have stepped out in the corner, too, going for that catch, but they're calling Schaefer safe. Yeah, potentially. You can't really see it because the crowd is literally right on top of the <laughs> no. line. I know. It's a small price to pay for having fans at a dodgeball tournament. <laughs> It is, man. Yeah, that's got to be UC's ball. Uh, good, it is. Good sportsmanship. We got some chirping in the stands between JMU fans and and some Penn State players. They always go to – Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> and Eli Shigadu-sensei, no, sir, 
Not on my watch. Another great kill by I think Luka. he's also shaking his head saying, damn, that was almost a catch. I yeah, gotta be it was. careful. <laughs> Pretty much, man. Oh! oh, oh, oh that's, ground, that's ground. That's ground. That's ground. That's ground. Uh, oh, wait. He calling it. Oh, he's calling it he's a team calling catch. It a catch. I don't know about that. Oh, man. That could have gone either way. He called it a team. Wow. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one either, buddy. I felt like that was ground. I think that was definitely ground. Right. But, you know, that's how it goes. It, how it goes sometimes. You got to take the calls as they come. Oh, Schaefer. Oh! <laughs> Yo, and Will Hyatt look absolutely disgusted. Pretty much telling Prince Schaefer, what type of throw was that? Try it again and get back into the weight room. Yeah. That's what he said. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dear God. <laughs> yeah, like I said, bro's got a cannon. Yo. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. Just body shot, my man. Straight missile. No change up. No slider. A fastball right down the middle. Just straight gas. Yeah, that was right down Main Street. Nothing Sterling could do about it, though. Absolutely nothing, man. He just got to just shake his head and just watch the film later. That was a salt and battery right there. Oh, here comes Freud. He looks like he wants to throw again. He does. Oh, man. Eli was thinking. Got some good dodgeball being played right here from both teams. Yeah, it is. Right now we got two rookies on the court for UC. Yep. Along with two second years. We got Connor. Yep, one of the rookies. And just about everyone for JMU is a veteran. Woo! Barring uh, white headband, no jersey. Still haven't learned his name yet. Right, right. He's solid, though. He almost clutched the point. Oh, got him! Will Hyde goes down that of change. Yeah, that's big much, for JMU. Much needed kill, and that pushed Cincy on the 10 count. Yeah, these just are not the players that, if you're Cincy, you want on the court to come back in this kind of point. So, yeah, it's looking like is going to take a, got take a point here. Yep, two that's play. two kills. Two kills right there. Two players left. Connor is one of those players. He's wearing number 71, and we got number 60 as well. Yeah, 71 is an incredible catcher for a rookie. Oh! Down goes 16. No. Oh! Oh! Still in. Holy cow. Connor is still safe. Connor is still safe. We have seen this man. Ball's over, though. Ball's oh, over. Oh, shit. Now, if there is one person on Cincy outside of Ryan, of Ryan Ingerberg that I would feel very comfortable in this scenario. It would be Connor, the rookie. I would have to agree. Wait, what? What's the time? Yeah, we're having. Um, All right, so what's uh, small? Oh, we're good. Okay. Okay. Just had to add ten seconds back onto the clock. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, let's see what this rook can do. He's got happy feet in the corner. Oh, almost brought one in, but uh, that's going to be point one to JMU. They needed that momentum. Definitely needed. What they really need right now, though, is uh, Trent at his best. Yes, I agree. And I, I think he'll deliver, but we, we shall see. I really do believe the difference. I really do believe the difference maker in this game. One of our players to watch, Prince Schaefer. I'd go really, warm up though. Really got to start going. Got to get things going for his team. I, I'd go warm up. Yeah, um, if you haven't checked out the stream from the Miami tournament yet, we had a pretty big upset go down over there. Word? Yeah, Miami beat OSU. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly, I'm just breaking that news to you for the first time. Wow. Yeah, so big win for them on their home court over um, not – wait, no, OSU's not number one. Well, they're, I think they're number one in power rankings. But anyways, good team. Um yeah, that's a big win for Miami. Big win right there for Miami. 
it could could mean something for the uh, ODC seating. I don't know exactly, but um, could be some implications there. It just, this it is just, a huge point, though. It just shows that anybody at any time, anywhere, is beatable. Agreed. All right, the JMU fans. It's whatever team shows up to play. That's right. JMU fans are definitely getting into it now. Yeah, their team needs them. We're now under 13 minutes in the second half. Shea for pump fake. Ooh! Uh, cheeseburger. Using Trent Shea for pump fake as an opportunity to take out Ryan Engelberg. Woo! There got another kill. two players. At least one. Yeah, one player went down, so now two players went down the past 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't know if there's another team in the league that is as dependent on momentum as JMU. Like, when they're on, they're pretty much unbeatable. And when they're off, they're just not the same team at they're, all. They're just not the same so, team. The second that they start to look like they are on and feeling it, um, good luck. Good pump finish by JMU. It's a Close. good throw. It's a great spot. That's how you do it. Great Great pump face right there. Trying to make the good job right there by Rivera, getting that ball back for his teammate. So, Logan, your counterpart, we're saying one of the weaknesses of JMU was ball control. They're, oh, doing a much, they're doing a much better job of ball control in this game. Yes, in this point specifically, yeah. Specifically. No, that really Ooh, is. got him. Yeah, that's a big kill. Got him. Too easy. Uh -oh. oh, team catch. Team catch. But, yeah, definitely, JMU is, yeah, they play so aggressively. They really need balls to be successful in their game plan. Correct. Um, yeah, they're just, they're not a team that's built to kind of play on their back line and just counter exclusively. Got they, Another two. Yeah, this is. Cheeseburger's really been putting in that good work in that point. Really taking a lot of pressure off from the captains. Absolutely. Give, just giving his team, you know, just more space, more opportunities. To really yeah. get some kills. Oh, for sure. I would say um, we know, obviously, JMU lost some of their best players last year. Like, <laughs> Cheeseburger's on fire right yeah, now. Just high out real high. High. Get that man a ball. Give him a ball. He's, he's feeling it. He's cooking. Let this man cook. But, yeah, what I was saying is um, we know they lost Ash and James Turner and Nick Spear, but I would, I would honestly say that this JMU team is – like a little bit more well-rounded, yes, and deeper. Like their yes. eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh best guys are yes. solid and yes. definitely making contributions, which Agreed. is some something that uh, they weren't able to say during every game last year. Agree. A lot of times last year they were relying on Ash um, and JT, but yeah, this is a this is a comprehensive effort here from the Dukes. Absolutely. And now they have the ball controlled. Yeah. Now they can so, start uh, playing their yeah. game. At this point, um, got him. Momentum yeah. just continually to build up for JMU. Every single time they want to kill. Ooh. Oh, but Carter say, <laughs> Wow. Carter. Wow. The spin is a, he's he a, is. He's he a is. villain. <laughs> Skeet goes down, and he's cursing out Sterling, cursing him out. Yeah, that's not a great look. It's, the, see. it's not a great look um, for Skeet. It's a great look for the rookie talking his – Oh, yeah, it is. Shiz. Yo, Connor, talk <laughs> your stuff, man. You earn it. For real. <laughs> but that catch does bring back, back Ryan Ingenberg. Yeah, that is true. And, and yeah, we still got Ski in the corner over here. Woo. UC's got some of their better players out there. Yeah, they do. All four of these men are more than capable. So, yeah, it almost becomes a case of like, oh, if UC can get this point to under four minutes, they might prefer to just go straight to overtime than have to play another point against JMU because Correct. the Dukes are so hot right now. Yeah, they all got That's him. a great kill from Ryan. Yeah, and Patrick Swab goes out of that change. Good kill right there. So, yeah, we'll see how the uh, how this point goes as it gets further on, but it'll definitely be interesting strategically for UC, what, would, what they would prefer to do. Ooh. Absolutely. We're that definitely – That looked a little dirty to me, but um, – yeah, I digress. Yeah, we're definitely deep in the trenches now. Yeah, for sure. That, that kick, looked like a kill. It kind of did. That looked like a kill. It kind of did. How that's not a kill? There's no way. That looked like a kill. I thought I was killed. That's a dirty block. Wow. 
Yeah, since it, yeah, they ain't gonna like that one. I, I thought that was a kill. I don't blame him. That's one of those where I feel like you just gotta take your out. You do, man. <laughs> there, there, there's a such thing. It's that's hard called, to in the heat of the moment, but yeah. There's something about honesty and integrity. It goes a long way. Wow. Yeah, he scooped that, no doubt. He scooped it. Schaefer just pretty much sacrificed his body for that catch. UC thought it maybe hit the ground, and that was close, but I think he scooped that for sure. And just like that, since it is back on the 10 count after this throw. We're now under the eight-minute mark. Good reset from Ryan. Yeah. Ash screaming at him to get back. Yeah, because <laughs> since, since he's on the 10 count. I'm telling you, I know it's not JMU's style to have a coach, but it helps, man. It helps It really a lot. does, especially when it's a former MVP. Easy money, bread basket that's, catch. That's just not a good throw, though. No, it's not. I know 26 cheeseburger was cooking, but you can't leave it up that high, man. Cheeseburger is crazy, Shadid. It is, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's the actual pronunciation? Man? I'm pretty sure it's cheeseburger. Oh, okay, burr. <laughs> right. I'm, oh, just that's say, funny. I'm just saying cheeseburger because I just had one. <laughs> Thank you, Ohio. For yeah, that. we got you with that sheets. No worries. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're soon about to hit under the seven-minute mark. Yeah, so this is definitely dragging on a little longer than I was expecting. Agree. Ooh. Crowd's getting a little quiet now. They're feeling a little nervous. Yeah, I think everyone's feeling a little nervous. Seven minutes left. This is a must-win point for JMU at this point. Absolutely. With that being said, if JMU scores a point and it's under, it's at four. It's a, if it's at four minutes or under, we'll go we, straight to OT. We we'll go straight to OT. Which I don't know. With the way JMU's playing, UC might not mind that. They may not. Good block right there by Ryan. Yeah, UC's top three or four guys. I would probably put above JMU's top three or four by by a little not by much not by much but I think that I think that they'll like their chances in OT yeah I agree but this crowd man the crowd is a is an X factor it is team throw all oh, the block the blue ball save him yeah that was a nice block oh we got a balls over to JMU though oh uh -oh. wow uh -oh. Uh -oh. dang that's so unfortunate I think we might see the uh, the human shield here on ski. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, man. Usually when uh, the ball's over on UC, they've been um, doing everything they can to make sure that he stays alive. So we'll see what they game plan here. That's a style of play that I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> I know Saginaw, back in the days, back in around the 2010 season, they were doing that a lot to protect like their, their main players. Yeah. All right, here it comes. We're I have a feeling this point could be over really quickly <laughs> at this point. Cincy might call a timeout. Ooh! There goes Engelman. No on ski. No on ski, but Ryan did get hit. But since he has balls now. Yes, so it, yes it is. They can make this last a little longer. Indeed. They need another team throw. Well, I mean they, I mean JMU. Got ah, 33 goes down. Three players left. Connor, ski. And another rookie, which we will figure out your name hopefully sooner rather than later. Team throw. Oh. He couldn't get it. Two Round players two left. For UC. It's up to Connor and Ski. Now, if I'm Jamie, you, how do how do I want to play this point? Another ball's over. Oh, sheesh. That's what I'm saying. If yeah, I'm that Jamie, can't happen if you're UC. If I'm Jamie, you, I need to be very aware of time management right now. It is 5-12. 5-12. We just mentioned earlier, if JMU scores a point at exactly four minutes or under, straight to old team. With that being said, if they score a point above the four-minute mark, we will be playing the next point. Yeah, I have a feeling JMU would want to play another point um, just because they're the kind of team that can get super hot and – finish a point in three or so minutes um, if their throws are hitting. So we'll see. Ski's jumping around on the back line. Got him. Wow. All right, now it's up to Connor. Down to the Rook. The Rook. The Rook couldn't do it this him. time. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to play another point. We're going to play another point. Like. So as I was mentioning beforehand, JMU scored that point. All right, real quick, Logan's going to say bye to his fans. Got it. All right, y'all, man, I appreciate y'all letting me come on today, do this nice commentation. Um, Terry, my guy Terry, the president of the uh, OU club, he's going to take over for me. I'll see you. All right. All right, word. Okay. All right, so fifth point of the match. Game tied 2-2. Two to two. Last time these two team play at JMU, it did go to overtime on the other court. Did it really? Yes, it did. And JMU did get the win against Cincy. This was at Beast last year? Beast last year, yep. Okay. Oh, I do remember that. Yep. All right, here it comes. Yeah, this is one of those interesting points where – the second that one team senses momentum, they're going to go crazy and try to get the point. And then the second that a team loses momentum, they're going to try to play conservatively and just survive until overtime. So it's, Correct. It's def oh, catch by Engelman. Easy catch by Engelman. That's yeah. two catches thrown by Cheeseboro. It's too easy, man. In the past couple minutes. Yeah, yeah UC's a good catching team. You can't throw it in the breadbasket. Not, not like that, no. Especially not Ryan Engelman. No, all people. absolutely not. Kind of seems like both teams are sort of content to take this to OT. I think so, yeah. Nobody's really maybe kind of using this these four minutes as a breather before getting to OT. That was a close call. I agree. Both teams are slowing down right now. We're now under the, two, the 340 mark. Nice oh, catch by Sterling. Catch. Looks like that one kind of got away from Joel. It did. Sterling's turned into a really solid player. I got to give it to him. Absolutely. Agreed. Survivability got a lot better. Nice oh. catch by Will. <laughs> Woo. And Will Hyatt pretty much told the El Presidente <laughs> of JMU, you, sir, are too little for me. Catches for Will on uh, Trent and Eli, two right. captains. Yeah, two captains going after each other. You love to see it. JME with a whole lot of ball control right now. Oops. We're now under the three-minute mark. Oh, oh another why catch for Engelman. That's just too easy. I don't know what Trent's doing. I don't know what Trent's doing either, man. That's just not it, man. He's better than that. He, he is. He knows better. Since he might be sensing an opportunity to probably try to steal this point. Yeah, if they had more balls, I would say they would should go for it. But JMU has six. Yeah, six. That's true. Yeah, it looks like this one's definitely going to OT. I think so. Unless something crazy happened in the next two minutes and ten seconds. Ooh. That was almost detrimental to our streaming setup. Yes, it here. was, man. Yes, it was. But we're good. Is that me doing that? What? I didn't touch the button. Yet. No, I think you did. I think that was other court. Yeah, I think you did. All right, we're now on the two minutes now. I'm definitely going to be interested to see uh, UC's OT lineup. Obviously, Ski, Engelman, and Hyatt will be in there, but I will definitely be interested to see who their 
back half of that OT roster is. I would not be surprised. Schaefer would be in. I would say Schaefer probably. I would say yeah. Sterling, Sterling as well. Sterling as well. And then I would honestly wouldn't be surprised if we saw the rookie in there, Connor. I, I, oh! <laughs> nice cross by Will. He's oh. having himself a game. <laughs> He's having a good time. He's having a great game. He's just, over he there. just put his hands up in the air like Michael Jordan, like. He's screaming at Gavin to give him the ball, and I don't blame him. All right, we're now under a minute. Oh. oh. Team catch. Team catch. Oh my goodness. That hurt. Yeah, it did. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Good kill right there, right? Oh, but then ski with a counter. See, this is where things start to pick up with 40 seconds if left. If I'm JMU, I got to slow down because they lose yeah, another player. That's not a throw. That is not going to work. They lose another player, they will be on the 10 count. Uh, it's 5-4 to four now. Yep. That's switched. So they need to lose two more before they go on the 10. Uh, I got you. All right, so four and four and under. Okay. Good spot by Engelman. Fifteen seconds. All right, look like we're going to OT. Yep. Absolutely. Exchanging some late game pleasantries. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, OT baby. Man. Um, I don't know how to do this. Well, I guess we don't need a clock necessarily, clock right? Clock is not needed, nope. Awesome. It doesn't, we don't need one. It's just we play don't. until, yeah. Did we, do you guys warm up? Did you warm up? Did you? What? We're getting we're getting word of a of a red card over on court two. <laughs> what? That might be our first of the NCDA season. Oh my god, red card for what? Um, from what I've heard, a JMU B player cussed out a ref excessively and got in his face. Wow. Um, so that's interesting. That's crazy. All right. It looks like they didn't take their loss to Virginia very well. No, they didn't. All right. So overtime. All right, so we have we can see the the OT sixes here. We have for UC Gavin Mosley, Ryan Engelman, Will Hyatt, Matt Rosinski, the rookie Connor. I don't know his last name. But, uh, shoot, Connor Butari, and then rounding it out is who's that? Oh, I actually don't know who that is. All right, all right. So for Jamie, we got Trent Schaefer, we got Patrick Schwab, uh, we got um, Nick Floss, we got Eli Rivera. Uh, we got 26. Uh, Cheeseboro. Cheese yeah, Cheeseboro. And Jeremy Cheeseboro. And then we got number 12. And then Joel. Joel. Um, so that sixth player for UC is going to be number 16, uh, Jacob Ziles. Oh, my goodness. He's a captain. I did not know that. Apparently so, I believe. All right. I think no, he's so. a solid player. He's good. I'm, I, I'd am i say it was probably between him and Sterling for that last spot. Yeah. I mean. All right, here we go. But momentum is a big thing. So you got to go with the players that you think have the high hand. Absolutely. All right, here it comes. UC gets that seventh ball. Both teams, 10-second sec ten shot clock. Engelman almost clips Trent in the corner there. He almost nice block. Yep. <laughs> This is where UC really needs Ski to take over. I think he got hit. Yep, Mosley got hit in the middle. He nice throw hit. by Joel. Yep. But, Crowd like that one. But JMU only Good has spot. two balls. True. Very true. Yeah, I don't know why they had two balls on the left for a second there. Right, that's what I'm saying. Nobody out yet, though, for the Dukes. Nobody out. Nice block.
That, that, I think that might confuse everyone, not going to lie. <laughs> oh, he got him! Wow, 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 wow. T throw got wow. Ryan Engelman oh, out wow. on the toe tapper. That's big time. That is big. And the ball's over. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> I can't be a biased scoreboard operator. No, you cannot. <laughs> we that's huge for the Dukes, though. That, that is, is that's everything. Oh man! Now keep in mind. Yeah, look at this. I think they're gonna. Uh... Now keep in mind that both teams in OT has a timeout. They got their two best arms. So you already going know. on the freshman. Oh! Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. I'm really shocked that they took their first throw at 71 instead of Ski or Will. Will avoids those. Still no count for UC. This is not looking good for the Bearcats. It's right. not. Bearcats have not gotten a single out yet. And I think Connor might be hurt. My goodness. But, yeah, both teams has one timeout in overtime. That might play into a factor. Nice, uh, nice stop on the wall ball there. All right, since he has to push up. Good spot. Insurance. All right, UC's got a little more ball control now. They're going to do a team on Ooh, Will. That's a great that cool. block. That's a great block behind. Oh, the president. Um, wow. Eli Rivera, the president, wow. with a big catch. Two players left. Matt Rizinci. Yeah, that's a huge and play for e Eli Villarreal. Ooh. What a moment for him. Big As moment. the president of the club, That's that catch might have secured it. Although UC does have the top two players still in. President Enke. Will with a catch! <laughs> Will say, you are still too little, Cheeseboro. You are still too little. Hyatt with, saying, this ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. He got the most disgusted look on his oh, face. Oh, what a stop from Kevin Mosley laying out to stop the wall ball. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, it's the little things. It's the little things, man. That's that's why he's on the OT. That's Amen. why he's on the roster. Amen, Shadid. It's not always about being the Still strongest no drawer. It's about being the most aware dodgeball player for what your team needs. Ooh, man. Just missed that. He just oh. missed. All right, got a 5v2. UC's got three balls, so they have a clock. Uh-oh. Nothing for Will, though, now. Oh, man. Oh, oh, my God. And that was a headshot. It's up to Ski. He's been in this situation numerous of times in his career. Oh, he couldn't do it. He could not do it. He couldn't do it. They storm in the court. It's straight pandemonium. And the Dukes get it done, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Got the handshake line going. Good sportsmanship always. Yeah, this crowd is pumped up. Oh, man. What a finish. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what the JMU Beast Tournament it's all about, and you can't get this environment anywhere else. Anywhere else, with the exception of nationals, and right, even right. then, yeah, no, it's, it's different. Hard, it's it's a different ballpark. It is a hard second to it's, the legendary JMU Beast Tournament. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. That was an awesome game. Yeah, man, JMU just can't play uh, anything but a close game recently. I'm serious, man. <laughs> hey, they've played great opponents the last five games. Good for them to finally get one done. Yes. Definitely deserve that. It's a good feeling. All right, I got a game to play. I'll see you later, Shadid. Later, man. Appreciate Thanks you. Thanks for having me on. Yes, yep. sir. Straight, unadulterated pandemonium. That was. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Garrett's mom um, from Ohio. I appreciate you. That was incredible. Every match thus far has been a straight banger. Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time. Uh.